High Definition. This is KCAL 9 News at 7 a.m. It's eco-friendly and cost-effective. We're going to show you some ideas on decorating for the holidays with live plants. But you know, you can battle this winter weather by bringing a bit of the outdoors inside. That's right. And this morning, our KCAL 9 Sandra Mitchell shares some tips from an expert on decorating with live plants. Well, it's time to decorate for the holidays. Better get to it. Plants can be the perfect accent. Today, we are going to learn how to make the most out of our living decorations. Nancy Ann Vopel from Armstrong Garden Centers is here to show us how to make the most out of living decorations. Welcome, Nancy Ann. Thank you. It's lovely to be here with you. So I love the idea of decorating with live plants mm -hmm. because we know that when we put flowers out a few days later, they're wilting, mm -hmm. they're dropping petals. Mm -hmm. So this is something we can do to bring the outdoors in, but keep it around for a while. Exactly. Exactly. Armstrong has a wonderful array of living plants that work fantastically in indoor arrangements. You can create centerpieces or you can use them singly individually in your home and they provide so much fragrance and enjoyment. I notice you've picked out a lot of red and white for the Christmas yes, Eve Yes, for the holidays, exactly. And this you would use as a centerpiece. What are sort of the rules for designing your own centerpieces? Well, when you're designing your own centerpiece, you want to think about height, Towards the back, you want to have something that's a wow in your centerpiece. That would be this. Which would be the amaryllis. <laughs> and in this situation, I have paper white narcissus. I've got that gorgeous amaryllis just getting ready to pop its other two blossoms. Then you want to add some softness, something to kind of fill in that middle space. And you want to finish with your something gorgeous that's blooming that ties in your color scheme in the front. In this case, I've used, Amar I've used cyclamen and I've got maidenhair fern in the middle and some creeping fig as the spiller. Spillers are great elements in any kind of a centerpiece. Kind of soften the edges of your exactly. basket. And you've just taken potted plants and put them right These down in the basket. These are all potted plants. I can, I mean, That's they work in here beautifully together and they just nestle right together. Afterwards, when the season is done, take them out, take them out to your yard, plant them up, put them in a pot, and they'll stay with you for a long time. I know that the malls are crazy right now. The parking lots are so busy, people fighting over spots, but I can imagine Armstrong Garden Center, you can probably pull right up front you and look around for some great right gifts. <laughs> exactly. We have people who are gardeners often come to our store and w wish that people would give them Armstrong gift cards for the holidays or living plants because a gardener is somebody who has it in their heart and we're always appreciating the joys of our plants. You've put together some baskets and I think you have a gardening basket down there. What, go what goes in that? I do. In this basket I have la last minute gifts for gardeners. I've got gloves. I've got what's called a hula ho, which is something you use to take up weeds around plants. I've got clippers. I've got soil scoop, something anybody who digs into a bag of soil would love to have. A little and hat. I've got a gardening hat. I've got a, a, a hose nozzle. Oh, great idea. Those so, are always uh, yeah. These are wonderful gifts. In the lost gifts. and found around my yes, house. exactly. <laughs> Mostly lost. Mm -hmm. And then over here, I, I have some friends who are uh, bird lovers, and I noticed you've put together this great basket yes. of bird gifts. Birding is one of the most popular pastimes for families in the United States, and Armstrong has a large array of birding items. In, uh, some of the things I selected to bring in today are a mini bird bath. I've got bird seed, which at this time of year, even for us in Southern California, food it becomes a little more scarce for our birds. So we want to try to feed them and give them a little more nutrition. One thing, one other type of birds people love are hummingbirds. Oh, this is so, so pretty. So I brought a hummingbird and feeder. And it looks Christmassy. It does. Look at that. It's red. Well, red attracts them. Mm -hmm. So I've got some red food for the feeder and then you just hang that up and before you know it, they'll discover you and never leave you. They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. Then I've got a wonderful Birds of Southern California little pamphlet. So that helps you see Put what you're looking at. Put it all in one basket, at. it makes a great gift. Exactly. Can we talk about this? Yes. <laughs> I love this. This looks like a real candle, but it's actually battery operated, and mm -hmm. this comes as one unit, and it's one unit, the on-off on 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 switch on the bottom. It's called a luminaire, and it's a wonderful holiday gift, but once the holidays are over, it just makes a great gift to take outside to your patio. That's so pretty. Nancy, yeah, yeah great ideas. Thanks thank for you. being here. Thank you. And, thank and you. catch us on, on Facebook and Twitter. We also have some great YouTube videos on how to do type things for the garden.
Perfect. We'll check it out. Thank All right. You. For more information about Armstrong Garden Centers, just go to kcal9.com, click Scene on TV.